Hey Crafty Cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I'm Jessica. Um, in a recent live, I made this bohemian journal cover using the journal kit that I got from Boho Needs. I'll put her information down below. It was sold out once and then restocked, so I don't know if it's available now, but I wanted to finish this and some of you really wanted to see how I would do a hidden binding. So we're gonna do that today. Um, and we're going to do this very simple. I want the main part of this video to be the hidden binding, but we have to get the pages together. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use just mostly the pages that came with the kit and a few filler pages that I do have. Um, so we're going to go through this kit comes with a ton of fun stuff to decorate pages with and everything, but we're not going to do too much decorating. It also comes with some printed digital journal pages, which are really cute. Um, let's see, so I have to figure out what size I need really quick. Let's see here. I'm just gonna see if this would actually work. Oh, perfect. Okay, so like eight and a half by 11, I might need to trim some of these. Um, actually, I'm just gonna start by, like I said, do this simple. So I'm gonna start by folding all of these. Some of these pages do have white backs. I'm not going to worry about that now. I might go back and decorate pages later. Um, and then there's a few other things you can do to, if you don't want white, uh, white backs, you can put two printed pages together like this, and then you could sew these so that you have a pocket, if that makes sense. And that's just kind of a quick fix to it. But again, I'm just gonna mostly go and fold. These might be a little bigger than eight and a half by 11. Let me see. No, they'll work though. I think they are a little bit bigger, but. Okay. I think I'll probably just have two or three signatures. There's actually a lot of pages. So these are kind of like specialty papers. They're thicker. I might not even use all of these actually. I like the texture on this one though. So I am gonna add that. And then I might add a few little bags to it as well. Okay, I think I'm just gonna stick to that. It comes with some book pages as well. Really super vintage. I'll probably put a few of those in so that we have a few smaller pages as well. I think I'm gonna try, like I said, to do three signatures. So these are really cool, look at that. So I will fold three of these pages to put one in each signature. Okay, then like I said, I have a few coffee dyed paper pages that are already folded so we have those and I'm going to grab two bags maybe three in an envelope just so we can have a few extra little interactive pages I'm just going to trim off one side of the book here or not book the bag <laughs> so that we can have access to both sides okay let's go ahead and start building our signatures I'm just gonna do this so quick I like to kind of make different piles of the different types of pages that I'm using it just makes it a little easier for putting signatures together and I want this as a cover page to a signature, so I'm gonna grab that one. I'll probably do this one, and let's do the textured paper. So we have our three, you can kind of see three signature piles. Okay. Put that one there. That one, in fact, I am going to back these together. So essentially, that's really just gonna turn this into one page since they will be to 
together, if that makes sense. I'll have to line that up a little better, but that's okay for now. Okay, and then they each get one of these. And then I just have two coffee dyed pages, so um, I'll go ahead and also add a music sheet paper, and I need to trim this a little bit. Just eyeballing it. So we'll put that one there. And then bag, bag, envelope. Okay. Then we'll go ahead and just start putting these together. Kind of by alternating however I feel I want the pages to be. I kind of like to do like a shorter, if I have different sizes, I'll do different. I'll alternate the sizes, if that makes sense. Okay, like that. I'll need to put the back-to-back -back pages together a little bit better, but... That. <clears throat> this is really coming together quite fast. That is so pretty. You know, I was considering using this for the inside cover. Hmm. You know what? I think I am going to because I think that's going to be a really pretty inside. So that's okay. I'm just going to grab another page instead. So cute. Okay. I'll use a short page. I have longer videos showing how I find the perfect page formula for signatures. So if you want to see this uh, slowed down a bit more, I'll try to link that below. Okay, so I have my three signatures. I'm just going to double check, kind of put them inside. Ooh, these will be really nice with tabs as well. But again, I'll have to do that in a different video. Now, I do need to go ahead and put these pages together a little bit better. So I am gonna go ahead and just off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and sew around the three edges. Okay, so I have sewn these together. I'll just show you real quick. I sewed, or you could also use glue, around the three edges. And then I have a top loading pocket here for that one. And then this one I also sewed, but I sewed just the top and bottom, and then you have a side loading pocket. So it's kind of a nice way to use printed pages if you didn't want the white showing. So I have my three signatures. We're gonna call these done. Again, I'm gonna decorate them later, but we are ready to go ahead and sew these in. We have our cover here. So what you wanna do, you're going to wanna grab either fabric or paper, depending what you what your preference is, and this is what we're going to be sewing our journal, or sorry, the, what we're going to be sewing our signatures into. You want this to be about uh, two inches or so wider than the spine of your book, so um, you can see how how I measured mine. It doesn't have to be exact, but I have about an inch on each side because that's what we're going to kind of attach everything or we're going to use that to attach it to the inside of the cover. Um, and then I went ahead, since I'm using paper and I did fold so that I have a guide and I know that I need to sew all of my signatures into this center part. If you're using fabric, I even sometimes would just use a little pen and just mark little dots so that I know my signatures need to be sewn in between those lines. So I hope that makes sense. This part, I never measure, but you totally can. You can go ahead and like use a ruler and you can do math if you want to figure out evenly spacing out. So since I have three signatures, I would want three lanes that I would, I'm just gonna kind of eyeball this and I'm not trying to get it perfect, where I'm gonna be sewing the signatures into. Kind of, kind of evenly spaced. This is not even at all, but you get the point. You can use graph paper if this makes it easier for you. And I am going to do a three-hole pamphlet stitch, but I don't actually measure or mark um, any type of 
template for that because it doesn't quite matter where we are going to be sewing this into. And I'll show you why as we get along. So we're gonna take our needle and we will thread it. I'm gonna use some pretty kind of gold fabric or <laughs> thread. And I'm going to measure the height here and do about two and a half times the height. Okay. Go ahead and thread the needle. And then we're just gonna do this most simple sewing ever. Okay, I'm gonna start with this one. Now, again, I'm not pre-punching holes in here. But that's only because I have such thin pages that I can just use my needle. And so I am just going to go kind of through the center here. You can absolutely use a template and figure out where you're going to punch holes that way if you want it. But it's not, it's just not going to make a difference, really. Now, you do want to make sure that your journal, that your signature is going to be, you know, um, within the height of what we are sewing into. So this might ha this might be helpful for someone to have a template if you think that you're not able to just eyeball it, if that makes sense. But I feel very confident and it's quite easy to kind of just go like this. But I'm gonna flip this around. See, I wrote the lines down on the back, but I'm gonna go like this. And you know what? Scratch that. And I'm not even going to edit that part out. <laughs> I am going to go ahead and punch holes. So we can just see. We're starting on the last line here. But then what that means is I need to also punch the same holes. So what I'm going to do is, okay, so we are going to take that pin, where did I put it? And I'm just going to make this very simple for me. And I am going to, so maybe I haven't done this in a while and it would be good to have a template. So I hope this makes sense. So I punched the holes already into our page that we are sewing into and I'm just going to mark a little dot so that my holes line up with the pre drilled holes not not drilled but you get it and then what I'm going to do is open this up since I marked those on the back also I'm just going to go ahead and punch it from the back just making sure that I actually get it to go through the center That one. Okay. Okay. Flip it over. Now you can go ahead and start sewing just as you normally would sew it into the spine of a book. You're just going to sew it straight into your paper or fabric. It can be a little tricky since you just have this flimsy piece of paper or fabric. So we went through the center to the back. Now we're gonna go up to the top hole and line that up with the top hole of our pages and you should come in through the center here. And then we're gonna go down to the bottom hole all the way out. And out through the, the false spine, we'll call it a false spine. Then you're going to come up here, back through the center. And if you need to kind of move your pages around a little bit to get that to line up, you can, and then you're going to tie these off, but first make sure that you have one of the ends on one side of the center and one on the other. Tighten that up and tie it 
We'll do one more together. Oops. This is a little bit frazzled, This, the thread. Okay, there we go. So we have our first signature sewn on. So now we're gonna go to the back here. I'm gonna do the same thing again where I'm gonna punch the holes. This is the back of it, but I'm just gonna kind of line this up. These holes do not have to match the same um, spots that you did with the first one because that's not gonna make a difference. But just because I want to, I'll just kind of do that the same. Then I'm gonna take my second signature, make sure I have the top at the top, and I am gonna just take my pen, but you could use a pencil, I just don't have one. I'm just gonna kind of mark where I need my holes to be on here so that everything lines up nice and good. And then again, I'm just gonna quickly use my awl and I'm gonna punch So I'm doing this kind of backwards, but it's okay. Okay. Remembering where the top is, which is this way. And then I am now going to sew this in to the second lane. So I'm going to start by sewing in the center of my signature out to the second lane here on the middle. Pull that through and then come up to the top hole. And this is where it can be kind of awkward because you're not holding a whole journal cover. You're just holding this kind of like flimsy pack of papers, but once you kind of get going, you get the hang of it. And then down to the bottom. And then be sure not to lose the end of your thread. And then you're just gonna go in back through the center and you can tie it off. And then I will go ahead and sew in the last signature and then I'll show you how we get this into the journal. Okay, we have everything sewn in to our false spine. I guess that's what we're gonna go ahead and call it. Everything is sewn in nicely and so you can see we have our pages here. So now it's time to go ahead and attach it to our inside. I like to attach this before covering any of the inside. Um, that's kind of a preference thing just because I like to have something over these flaps. So now what we're gonna do is you can use double-sided tape for this or glue, use whichever adhesive you absolutely trust. But for me, that is going to be my Tombow Mono Aqua Glue. And I am going to go ahead and drown the center of this in glue. I'm gonna use so much glue because this is what is going to hold our entire journal pages in. I'm mostly just getting it on the center here to start. I'm not too worried. I like to do the center part first and then I will do these side flaps. So I'm just gonna add even a little bit extra to this here. Oops. It's okay if it's a little messy. And then the reason I don't like to use double-sided tape is because if you do you have to line this up correctly like right from the get-go but with wet glue you have just a little bit of wiggle time because I want to make sure that I have it in the center correctly so I like to pull up my sides because that way if I need to go ahead and adjust anything I can and then you want to go ahead and start pressing down now I like to use let me grab it my bone folder so that I can really press down because you do want to make sure. So I'm going to go ahead and put like one signature down and I'm going to press in between the signatures. This is pretty important to make sure that everything gets adhered down all the way. 
So even if you were using double-sided tape, again, you just want to make sure that you have it lined up really well before taking off the backing. Okay, so again, I'm just going to make sure, and I even like to take my bone folder again, and I'm just going to like really make sure that all parts of the false spine are down flush. You really want to make sure. Okay, then we can go ahead and you can let this dry if you want, but since for the sake of the video, I'm just going to go ahead now and also glue these down. And again, I'm using a good amount of glue. Now, if you already had decorated the inside cover, don't panic. You can just glue these flaps on top and then maybe add some lace or something. But I actually really like to put the flaps down first and I'm gonna add some more glue right on the um, gusset there. But I like to glue these down first because then I like to cover my inside with something that can go on top of the flaps which also kind of anchors it down. So now we can go ahead and cover the inside. So I have my two inside covers cut down and I am just going to simply glue these on. And I do like to do this all pretty quick. If I wasn't ready to add my inside covers, uh, this part, <laughs> I would have my journal closed right now because I like it to dry um, in a shut position. If that makes sense, okay, I'm gonna go ahead now and just paste that on. I am gonna make sure I have plenty of glue on the edge here. I think that's good though. Because see, if you have it laid flat, it can kind of pull up. So I am going to take my bone folder one last time um, before I let it sit and dry. But let's go ahead and put the other side on. And we are just about done. I probably made it look a lot more confusing than it actually is. Once you get going, it's not too bad. Okay, so again, I'm gonna go ahead now and really go through and make sure that everything's pressed down really well because it's already like pulling up since I had it in the open position, which it's fine. We just have to go through and make sure to really press everything down and then we're gonna I'm going to close, I'm going to use something to tie around this and I'm going to keep it closed and I'm going to let it just dry like this. So I'm just going to go through and this glue, like I said, it takes a little bit of time to really set. So I definitely like this glue for this type of binding. There we go though. We have a hidden spine. You can see we just have our pretty ruffles that we had and all of our pages are in here securely so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video i do plan to have a part an, a next part of, of the series so that i can show you um, decorating that's probably going to be a little while so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you soon bye guys